Hey everyone, I was in here. Oh, let me fix my mic. Alright, here I am. Uh, so welcome back. We are going to be starting the second mission soon. Uh, nothing has happened. So, with that I'll go ahead and get stuff going. Alright. Okay. So, unless, uh, unless there's anything else, I guess we'll go ahead and start. So. Right, any final objections? Yes, no. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I just found out that I have to be at work, so I'll see you guys later. Aww. Aww. Congratulations, the kill team survival rate just went up. I'm just kidding. Aww, it went back down. Nice one, dude. Oh, god damn it. Alright. So, uh, I guess we'll start the short recap, kind of like, you know, just touching on the end, because the only one that was really there for the end was Mal, and then Diz kind of popped in there for a second. So, just to recap it real quick, um, you guys killed uh, Vex and killed off some of his battle servitors, and using his memory core, Mal was able to locate the gene seeds, in which you guys were able to basically recover them and get out of there. And you came back, and your watch captain praised you for your good work. Though, his praise s soon turned to a more serious tone, as the next threat in the galaxy is looming. And he is preparing for that. And as one of the preparations for his steps, he will soon be calling you all into the war room to discuss the next operation. Um, there'll be small downtime, just in case uh, you guys needed to conversize with each other for whatever reason. Uh, you kind of imagine yourself walking around on the kill ship in between the mission at this point. Uh, you are not yet called to the war room, though if nobody has anything to say to each other or anything like that, then we'll go ahead and go right up to being called to the war room. So, have at it if anyone wants to. Can I attempt to make my uh, standard issue bolter? Like, how much downtime do we have? Like, only like an hour? Uh, it'll probably be like a few hours. Okay. Probably nothing then, I guess, because we're probably resting or something. Okay. Alright, so you guys uh, all kind of, I guess after the mission, you all kind of go back to whatever part of the kill ship you hang out in, your own room, mess, I don't know, forge, hangar, whatever you're doing, bridge. And uh, a few hours pass, and uh, you get another call from the watch captain to report to the war room. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Voice is still going on here. And with much haste, you all assemble in the war room, just like uh, people who assemble when called. I don't know. And you are greeted, again, by your Watch Captain Raffin. And he says, Hail, hail, Battle Brothers. You did well in the last mission. I hope you guys are rested up for the next one. The enemy never rests, and neither will we. Very good. Very good. Um, well, he's like, that's, he's like, that's good. Um, Anyways, so it's time to get down to business, I feel, guys. Um, the last mission we kind of did was more of really a favor, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to repay your old friends, right? But let's get down to serious business now. Part of the reason why you guys are assembled here and you're being here is that we suspect that the that there is a high fleet in the sector of, Jer of the Jericho Reach, or there is a high fleet in Jericho Reach somewhere. Um, we believe that some of it will splinter off and start making its attack on the sector itself. Where we don't know, when we don't know, how powerful it will be. Again, we can only imagine that. So, as a response, we will be spending the following months or whatever time we have to gather up whatever we can 
to fight this threat. Starting with today, or this mission. Not too long ago, I was contacted by a watch fortress. The watch fortress is the one that I had sent the data core that Sorrow and Marcus had found on the first mission from the Magos. The core revealed that there is indeed some kind of old artifact on a planet called Floridia. Upon further investigations, we have found that Floridia is in contest with the IG who have reported sightings of Tyranid. The IG are new to this planet, apparently. Uh, they believe that this planet is a newly discovered one, and they are there to make a foothold on a new planet for the Imperium of Man. And unfortunately for them, they have been fighting Tyranids. Hopefully they'll win. Um, maybe you guys will even help them. Who knows? Um, nevertheless, on this planet, we have discovered an old chapter house, and within it, a faint energy readings which would be similar to other artifacts or that they would give off. What it actually is, I'm not too sure, but we're going to find out. And that, for this coming mission, will be your guys' primary objective, is to um, find this chapter house, which won't be really too hard. Uh, we know the uh, kind of area that it is in, and we can drop pod you right kind of near it, if you so choose so. Um, might have to still search around for it a little bit, but it'll be pretty close to it. Um, so that is your primary. Your primary is to locate the chapter house, um, locate the artifact inside of it, and if it's if it really is an artifact, which we you know believe it is, then extract it. That is your utmost important mission. Of course, if you always believe that you have time. Um, as secondary, you are always welcome, and should, if you can, destroy all the Tyranid on the planet. Or, as much as you can, at least sever it from the hive mind. Um, we have also had other reports, though, since this world is a world that borders the Tau influence, that the Tau have made their presence known. Though their conflicts with the IG remain that of scouts exchanging fire from each other, and no real huge conflicts have broken out yet. Though I suspect that since this is a world so close to Tau, that they aim to conquer it for themselves. Again, if you guys find the time, and I encourage you to do this, destroy the Tau. The Tau are currently being led by a person who goes, or a Tau commander who goes by the name of the Phoenix. His people give him this name because he often escapes battle alive when he really should be dead. I mean, like, uh, uh, reports say really that, like, he's gone through, like, f five or six fucking battle suits. Like, every single, you know, <laughs> just gets out of shit, basically. Um, so if you can kill that guy, it'd be a huge blow to the Tau. Or at least if you can scatter the forces of the Tau off the planet, that'd also help them as well. It'd also give you, or help the IG as well. It'd also give you guys much needed combat experience against the Tau. Um, the IG, just for more information on them, the IG are currently being led by an Inquisitor on the planet. He goes by the name of Inquisitor Harkin. He is there to oversee the assault on the planet. And we also suspect that he and the IG, along possibly with the Tau, and, well, I don't speak Tyranid, so I don't know what, really what they're after besides fucking murdering more people, are unaware of the chapter house currently on the planet. I don't have much information on Harkin. I don't know what he would do if he decided if he found out that there was chapter house and relic and a uh, artifact on the planet. So I don't know exactly how he would respond to that. Whether or not you want to enlist the aid of the IG 
in doing your task is completely up to you. Um, whether or not you feel you need it, whether or not you feel that it's beneficial to you, it's completely your guys' call. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much what I have for you guys. Is there any questions? Do we know what order this Inquisitor is? I'm not sure on that. Is there a time limit on this mission, Captain? No set time limit, though I feel that the longer you take, the um, more likely it is that the chapter house gets discovered by IG or Tau. Do we know the synapse creature responsible with the, uh, with the link to the overmind? <laughs> Zerg. 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 Uh, Do we know the, uh, like, the, to, the uh, to the hive mind is what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he says, um, Scouts and other conflicts have reported a uh, warrior prime. That is the most biggest, or that is the biggest threat they have faced so far with the Tyranid. I would assume that the Warrior Prime is the link, is the synapse. Um, I've also heard that the Warrior Prime does show characteristics of psychic abilities, as some Space Marines have come back fried. Not Space Marines, uh, Imperial Guardsmen. Derp. Define fried, sir. Uh, without skin. <laughs> or skin melted. Eyeballs pop. I'm out of character now. Is this the part where we, if we're done asking questions, that is, like we would decide a leader and take oath? Yep. If every, if nobody has any questions about it, then yeah, uh, we can go on to requisition, oath, leader, and then what you guys may want to do is figure out how you want to go about it. If you just want to drop right on to where the chapter house is, or if you're going to actually try to go with the IG, so or however you guys want it. Yeah. There's no more questions. I'll it's like if there's no more questions, I'll go ahead and issue your rec, and you guys can get your stuff going. We'll have drop pods ready for you. Can we uh, drop pod anywhere on the planet? Sure, why not? You drop pod in the IG, you could drop pod crashing down on the Tau foothold, you could crash into the fucking whatever you find, yeah. Do we have an idea of where like the, the heart of the Tyranid swarm is, or we could have to scout that out ourselves and gather information? Um, it'd probably take, it'd probably take a little bit of scouting, a little bit of scanning, um, find like you know the actual heart of where they're at uh it is a pretty it's a pretty thick jungled for, uh feral world so i mean we have to get like really below the surface because the towel and the ig may have like some clearings and stuff so i mean you know it's it's that stuff's like pretty visible but uh swarm just kind of hide in everything so can we get in contact with the uh, scouts what, what scouts? You talk about IG, or are you talking about Tau? Hmm. Uh, the IG. He's like, well, just those scouting reports. I mean, I haven't, you know, I I haven't personally talked to them. He says. I mean, they're just they're just Imperial Guardsmen scouts. I mean, they're out there and doing stuff, scouting, reporting. That's what they do, I guess. Shrug. Okay, well, can we get in contact with them? Then we can decide who we want to assault. Oh, I'm sure when you guys get there, or if you want to try to open up a box with them, you'll probably get in contact with them. Okay. Well, I guess we're ready then, right? To decide who's our leader and get our wreck and shit? Yeah, if there's no questions. Hello? No, I'm awesome. Okay. 
All right. So he says, uh, all right. Uh, so according to the specifications of this missions and stuff, um, uh, you will all be issued, or you will each be issued 60 requisition. Go see the Ford Matcher for your ship. With that, you're excused. And Mal seems to have trouble staying in vent. Uh-oh. What damn you, Mal? You Mal. went to your internet. Pause break. Oh, wait, never mind. Mal, what are you doing? Sorry, dude. I my mic disconnected for a second. I had to reconnect. Oh. So, yeah. He issues. Uh, he issues each one of you sixty requisition, and he tells you to see the forge master. So again, uh, yeah. So again, I just want to go over, you know, the changes kind of for vent, which you guys can use it for. Because even after I've said it, we're still kind of, fun. but. You can use, so for reasons to actually use Vent, you can use it when you're talking through your character. So, like, if if Marcus is saying something to Castleus, then Diz can use Vent to do that. Uh, the other reasons you can use Vent is to describe what your character is doing. Like, I'm going to, it's like, uh, Mar so like Diz will come over and he'll say, Marcus is going to go up to this door, or like, I'm going to go up to this door, and I'm going to see what's going on. So, things you, so, describing your character, and the other thing you do is to ask me direct questions, but... Um, no more it so when combat comes if you want to figure out if if you just get hit with combat and you're trying to figure out what you guys are doing it's on your turn you get a free action to talk and anybody you talk to can respond as a free action so there you go and all that stuff has to be done in character it's all you can't be like uh there's a you know you can't be like uh there's a high tire i think over there so let's kind of i don't know play it out a little bit come on guys xp bonus xp if you do it so yeah but anyways, just a reminder. Anyways, okay. So he he issued and and again, if you want to do anything outside the game or whatnot, just put it in the chat. That's fine. So he issues each one of you your he issues each one of you sixty requisition for the mission. And I think with that, I'll go ahead and pause it while they're picking their rec, because sometimes it can get quiet for a while while they decide individually. So I will see you guys when they are done picking their stuff. We are grasping at the wind. We have no idea what the nature of this relic is. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry to just bring you back in. Um... That is true, Castellus. However, I am just speculating. If it is a mere tool to be used by one of us, we shall use it with uh, uh, most they're discussing pre-battle stuff we shall use it uh, spectacularly against our enemies if it is a tool and a weapon to be used but however if we cannot use it as I've said we shall merely ask for uh, uh, extraction and leave the planet we will not seek to achieve the other objectives I just want to clarify I my, my apologies. Extraction for the relic, we will remain planet side and help the cleanup with the Tyranids and the Tau. This is a good plan. I will follow you. Okay. Let's be, sca let's be gathering these scans then uh, before we finish our wreck and set off. Alright, so you'll use the ship to make uh, personal scans on the planet for further information? Right. Who will do We're it? We're hoping for like a really detailed map of the area. So, it doesn't have to be very big, just to be immediate. Okay. Um, Alright, so I guess who who's going to do the scans? Roll tech use for it, I guess, to operate machinery and shit like that. That's me. Alright. Yes, I hope it's gasless. I will perform the ritual of Sears. Uh, this is a success if I am allowed to use my combi tool. If not, it is a failure. Uh, what do you need, like 10 or 20? What are you off by? I'm off by six. Oh, 
Well, if Diz wasn't so bad, he would assist you and use his yeah, tech use. But. Um, I don't know if the ship itself, with its advanced equipment, would give me any bonuses. I mean, if the AI could assist me too. Yeah. I'm not I sure, will. like, what the circumstantial bonuses are. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just messing around with you guys. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so you run over some scans. Um, what specifically are you looking for in the scans? I We're going to go with a, a topographical scan where we want a layout of the terrain, um, any major electrical sources. We're going to go all down the electrical, electromagnetic spectrum to see any technological scale that we have. Um, and then finally, if there's any esoteric, um, well, infrared's part of EM. Um, Heat sources, infrared, that's what you'd use it for. Okay. All right. Um, Terrain-wise, it is fairly flat, small hills here and there, no gigantic mountains, really, um, at least in this part of the planet. Um, as for EM, uh, electromagnetic stuff, there, uh, the, the forest or the feral world is, is littered with them. Um, this will probably represent uh, EM of, you know, fire warriors, stealth suits, whatever the town might be employing, uh, pathfinders, who knows. Um, there is still the faint uh, EM that is resonating from the chapter house itself. Um, for infrared, um, again, there's basically dots scattered everywhere. Um, on the major front with the IG against the NIDs, there is the most, there's the most concentrated force of infrared from there, representing the uh, fairly large Tyranid force in, that is engaged with the IG. Um, scans also show, like I said, scattered points around, uh, basically showing off more minor conflicts and other things like that. Is the area around the chapter house, like, cleared out in a way? Like, has the force been cleared around it, or is it has grown up all up against it? The chapter house, disused. the chapter house is very old. Uh, maybe at one point there was a clearing, but the forest has claimed it once more. So it is very much hidden within the jungles. All right, I want to zoom in around the chapter house and diagnose uh, the best of landing area that would give us optimum cover and the best, uh, the shortest distance to run into the chapter house. Okay. Um. So you scan, you scan around the chapter house, and you're able to locate an area that's, I don't know, probably say kilometer or two off from it would be a pretty optimal landing spot um you could it's all it's i mean it's all really it's all you know you'll you'll be sh you know you'll be shot out in your job pod and from there it's kind of you know it's not precision kind of work so basically basically it, you're going to be pretty much shot into jungle area no matter really where you go around this thing it's really luck of the draw i guess um but landing like a kilometer or so away from it would probably be, you know, the safest. Unless you're just going to try to crash right on top of the chapter house. That's always an option, too. Notable. Do we know the layout of the chapter house? The chapter house is really old. There's no map detailing it. And the power on it is non-responsive. So, no. Okay. Marcus, these are the readouts. And he uploads it. He already said he downloaded it, so. Uh, very good, very good. Let me take a look at these. Hmm. we could possibly crash right on top of the chapter house unless this is something uh, we wish to avoid. We could, it seems the data suggests this and another option of landing uh, 
few ways away from the chapter house, but we may come into contact with scout patrols of either the Tau, the T do uh, uh, the the Tau, the Imperial Guardsmen, or the Tyranids. Uh, you are able to somewhat pinpoint it. It is very faint and suggests that whatever or wherever its location is, it is buried deep underneath the chapter house. <clears throat> there we go. Since it's so deep, we can just crash down on top of the chapter house, brothers. We should only punch through the top. Agreed. Very These well. chapter houses are built to sustain a ch uh, they're built to take on a siege, brother. We should not damage anything major, such as what Sorrow suggests. Very well, brothers. If we are all in agreement, let us be off. Alright. So how high off the ground is our vehicle hover, Hosen? Uh, I think land speeders only go like... I don't know couple feet or whatnot off the ground two three feet oh. something like that you could deploy it if you want to actually I mean you could you could move around in it in the forest it but it's I, I guess it depends really on how discreet you're trying to be maybe so I don't know Cause we could use it to cross swamps and stuff pretty easy but I'd hate to get bogged down in forest somewhere you could I'm gonna I'll say I think you we're aiming for a uh, Shock and all tactics, or you know, speed. Blitzkrieg. All right. That'll be more useful against like Tau and Tyranids. I mean, for this particular mm -hmm. mission, I mean, couldn't we have the uh, just delivered to us after we complete this segment? Sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. If we can find a clear spot to drop it in, because it'll be helpful cool. moving around if we could get swamps and stuff to travel up. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I really, that's that's probably doable. I am ready, brother. As am I. Okay. Anything else? Diz, Kyler, good to go? Yep, I'm all set. Alright. Okay. Um, so with that being done, you are all issued the gear that you requested. Um, you gear up, have discussed your plans, and are now boarding the uh, drop pods which will be used to shoot you I guess directly on top of the chapter house um, I guess you guys are trying to accomplish uh, breaching through the roof or something and landing inside of it would be the goal something like that all right okay so you board into the you board into the drop pods and sit in for a little bit and then like you have done on previous missions and in previous and you know engagements you are shot out hurling towards the planet um, break into the atmosphere as fire engulfs your drop pod though soon subsides as you go further into it now I have to ask the question if anybody has a charm with them No. No. Fucking knew it. Diz, Sorrow, do you by chance have a charm? Do I have a what? A charm. A charm? Yes. I does the... I, does the chapter the trapping right? count as one? Not unless it says it's a charm. I think the only one that gets it is a Storm Warden. But he picked the Claymore. All I have is a... My book and my robes. I don't think they're charm. No, there's like an item called a charm. Okay. No, I don't have one. Alright. So, as you guys descend closer to the planet, um, I guess some sensors in the drop pod or whatnot pick up an incoming object hurling towards one of the four of you.
The specific. Am I piloting this bad boy? Oh, never mind. No, nah, it's like on auto drop, basically. The incoming object uh, appears to be some kind of Tau Seeker missile, and it is headed for one of the four drop pods. Um, it has locked on to. Um, let's see. Let's figure out how to put it. Yeah, so I still have fucking Mal. Um, so the, the Seeker missile has locked on to Mal's drop pod. Um, and in the passing moments, collides with it, and in a giant explosion, jeer, uh, jars his uh, drop pod off course. The rest of you remain on course, and in time, crash into the chapter house, breaking through the roof. Though unfortunately for Mal, his drop pod has been shot off course a little bit, and he has been dropped a few kilometers away from the chapter house. Still unscathed. How many? Um, I'd say... Actually, I'd say a kilometer and a half. So what is that? 1,500 meters? <clears throat> yes, it is. Let's see. I would say it puts you about here. I'll draw some stuff on this map. We'll use that as a little mini map to see, see you guys. Alright. So. Um, Diz, Sorrow, and Kyler. You guys have breached through the roof of the chapter house and have landed, I guess, kind of in some kind of training room for the moment. Some kind of courtyard training room. Um, so it'll be about this area. Just little circles and shit. I'll put D. I'll just put your like initials to your characters. So Marcus and Sorrow and Kyber or uh, no, Chadris. Damn it, Chadris. Ah, I fucked up in your name. I was gonna put a K. <laughs> uh, as for Castleus, your character would be more down here. And so yeah, that's kind of what happens. Where are you drawing at, dude? I can't see. It's anything. above the chapter house, or not the chapter house? It's above where your characters are sitting at in the thingy. Okay, I see now. So if you want to, I'll move your characters up there too. Yeah. Brown. So there you go. That's a thousand kilometers, or one point five thousand kilometers from Castle to us. Yeah, scale. about that area. Fuck, yeah it is. Cool. We have a planet to fight on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's about... He's on border, pretty much. He's about right there. Yeah, it's it's fairly big planet. I mean, it's pretty... You know, it's a pretty big conflict going on here. So... But... So, essentially, that's what happens. Um, your three job pods land fairly normally inside the chapter house, breaching the roof, uh, pop open... And, um, well, I guess, actually, before they pop open, so I'll make a sinus test. It's fail. Um, okay. Plus 20 on it, actually. Yeah, plus 20. Then I would, uh, sinus science is a willpower test. Yes, I believe. So yeah, I'd pass. Alright. Um, Alright, the drop pods haven't opened yet. Though outside of it, you sense great disturbances in the warp. Uh, brothers, don't open your drop pods yet. I sense a great disturbance in the warp. It's a disturbance in the force. Yeah. Am I cut off from the uh, Vox at all? You're still within range. Your drop pod has landed a little bit ajar, rolled over kind of on the side. You're able to pop it out and kind of roll out of it and stand up and observe your surroundings, which for the most part seem tame. Um, yeah. All right, well, I mean, I'm going to stay in my drop pod okay. because of what Sarah said. That's fine. Uh, is everybody present and okay? 
because we heard the explosion. Did we hear that explosion? In our yeah, you'd home? hear the explosion. Okay, is everybody present and okay? Castle's I'm here. okay. Marcus here. Uh, I guess, let's see, it, can I, um, can I use my augury, or not my, uh, yeah, my augury array, can I use it to look outside my drop pod, see what's around me? Yes. Or how far away is the warp disturbances, can I tell? Oh, it's right up in your face. It's everywhere around you. Oh. Okay. So, I'm going to, I think that's a path. Yeah, it is. Can I see anything? Um. All right. So you augury through. Um, trying to decide if you if you can see this actually or not. Um, well, I'm just looking for like physical presences. Right, like right, if right. there's beings right. outside and stuff, then if not, it doesn't matter. Um, yes, I'll say I'll say you'll say you'll see it because that it kind of goes in with it. Um, basically, what you're seeing outside is. Uh, Apparitions, warp ghosts of past space marines wandering the halls. Okay. Mm -hmm. It seems uh, this chapter house is haunted by our brothers from the past. Stay in your pods. Let me go out and see if they are hostile. So very well, uh, brother. I wish you luck. Let's open my pod and see what they're doing, Hosen. All right, you open your pod and you observe your outsides. Um, there are warp ghosts, like, like I said, walking around, and they are space marine warp ghosts, essentially. Um, they don't take any heed to you, and since you knew about them, this does not come to a shock to you as you see them. Um, right. So your character is pretty unscathed by this for the most part. Um, they wander around the hallway as if they're going on their daily business and not even noticing what's going on around them. The interior of this um, this chapter house is very old, decrepit. Um, the Fairworld has done a very good job of claiming it back as growth. Um, as feral growth, you know, plant growth, life has been, or it looks like has been, it has been growing on the walls for at least years, if not decades. Does it still seem fairly sound in here? Like, does the building still look fairly sturdy? I mean, it's not like, is it crumbled like all to hell everywhere to where it looks unstable, or is it still not too bad? The building, the building seems pretty intact. Um, it would take still quite a bit to actually blow it up. The walls... Um, do look damaged, but because of the expert engineering that went into this place, um, it still stands pretty strong. It would take a lot of work to restore this to a normal working chapter house, but it could probably take quite a few hits before the place crumbles down. Um, since I'm outside of my drop pod, do I notice that Castleus, that um, there's only three drop pods here, not four? Yes. Okay. It seems. Brothers, is it okay see. to exit? Uh, it it is. They the war, the ghosts don't seem to notice our presence, but there only there is only three drop pods present. Everybody, I'm step out, get out of your pod. I step out of the drop pod. I step out of the drop pod too. All right, everyone exits their drop pod. Switching over to Castellus. You notice immediately that your drop pod is not standing up. And you are basically laying on the side. As, you know, gravity dictates, really. Um, so this alone is a little bit, should be probably pretty strange to your character. So when your pod does open, you have to kind of roll out of it. Um, or whatever, however you want to do it. Though as it does open, you observe that you are not inside the chapter house as you would have suspected, though rather you are somewhere in the um, in the uh, jungles of the feral world. Um, as you enter, or as you exit, uh, roll 
awareness. Hearing. Motion detection? Is this like a sight? Hearing? Hearing. Okay. Okay, fail. Okay. Pass. Not you, Shatters. <laughs> oh. Unless you have like super hearing. And you can hear like a kilometer and a half away. Through walls. <laughs> Sorry, I just I, ju I just had to roll. I was kind of spacing out. That's fine, okay. Carry on. Alright. 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 So um you do hear what seems to be minor exchanges of fire with what guns you are unable to tell in what exact direction you are unable to tell as it echoes through the jungle um though you get you have you should have good reason to suspect that you're not the only one in the vicinity um i'm going to scan around the area for motion detection using the aspects to see what's around me That's uh, two degrees of success. Actually, three degrees. Sorry, just two. Alright, uh, what's the range that you have on this? The aspect's range? Yeah. Is there one? or? Uh, standard range is 50 meters. Um, so yeah, 50 meters. 50 meters? Okay. Is that... Okay, okay. Um... Alright, so as you scan around you in your 50 meters, um, it seems that there's, uh, there's nothing really around you. So, um, at least within that 50 meter radius. Uh, as you kind of scan around and spend more time, uh, you are able to pinpoint that the fire is coming from uh, your west, or the west of your location. Okay. I will report back. Um this is Castellus reporting back. I have been separated from the main detachment. I will make my way back using my cartograph and meet up with you in the chapter house as soon as possible. Can, uh, uh how long do you think my uh, teleport homer will stay active, Hosen? How long it'll stay active? I, I don't know. I mean, it takes, what, some setup time and then it just kind of stays active until you do shit with it, right? And until you bring it down? Let's see. Um, yeah, it looks like I just activate it and then I can hang on to it. Do you have to, do you have to set it up like in an area? It. Or does it mobile and move with no, you? No, it just says, it's just a signal transmitter that allows a teleportarium or similar technology to zero in on a person, object, or area. Yeah. If they have a teleportarium, they're able to teleport things yeah. like that. I'd to them and from them. I'd say... But it's able to be used to target points for squad deployment or to locate a moving individual. So, like, if I've got it on me, I can use it, I guess, to zero in on me. Sure, yeah. Check it before we get to rolling around. Um, I'd say using it like that, though, would require a tech use. Oh, okay. Can I help him set it up? You can do it for I'm him. I'm not going to use it now. I'm just asking. Oh, okay. It really depends on how fast we go through this part of the mission. Right. Uh, yeah, I would say I would say that the uh, the teleport beacon that you have would, you know, it run on its charge or whatever, then kind of run out. But I would say you can probably like you know just hook it up with like your power pack and just drain some energy out of that, which doesn't do anything to you, and then just recharges it. So. You know, basically, unless your power pack goes out, you'll have power for it, is I guess what I'm getting at. Right. So. Good to know. Maybe I will hook it up then. Um, so, uh, Marcus, help me, help me activate the teleport homer so uh, Castellus can better locate, so Castellus can better pinpoint our location as we move throughout the building. Brilliant idea, brother. I shall assist you. Now, do we uh, both roll for this, or is it just me? Just you. He does not tech use. No, I don't. Intellect, I believe. Intellect. Pass. Alright. Alright, so you're able to set up the teleport beacon, and it is fully operational. Um, Good. 
So uh, no more tech uses are really needed. Um, and you use it, I guess, to try to pinpoint Castless's location, correct? I'm using it to give him something to pinpoint oh, us. Oh, pinpoint with. you? Okay. Like he should be able to, yeah, he should be able to like contact the ship and have them beam coordinates, or he could, he himself could probably do it as a tag marine. Yeah. Okay. That's all it does. Is just create a point on the map. It's like a perfect GPS, basically. Right. For me. Okay. So Mal, um, you have new uploads, I guess, to you as the beacon goes up. Uh, you have a pinpoint location of where the rest of the team is. So you can uh, basically no navigation check in order to get to them. Still take time and whatnot, but there you go. Thank you, brothers. I will be on my way. And I'm just going to start using my aspects to use motion detection and move silently. Uh, I'm not going to turn on my stummer at all, so I'm just going to move as quickly and as silently as possible to the chapter house. Okay. All right. Um, can I use... Uh, how Are we close to the door, like the entrance to this building? Or um, are we kind of like in the very middle of it? Like, can I see an exit or entrance, like a hole in the wall I can go out of? Uh, no, not... Roof, not which um, I could go out of as well. Not hole in the wall, per se, but um, you take a little bit of time, I guess, and kind of look around the area, um, and mm -hmm. you discover that there's four entrances to this chapter house that lay out into the kind of... Uh, like a plus symbol, I guess. So I'll go ahead and mark them a little bit. Okay. While you're doing that, uh, mark it. So I would advise setting up a defensive perimeter while we wait on Cassilis to join us. Very well, brother. These apparitions appear to be no threat. However, we must take into account the Tyranids and Tau that may be lurking close to our location. There seems to be four entrances into this building. What do you believe is the best course of action for a de defensive procedure, since you are trained in the in defensive tactics? Um, let's see, that... You said that one thing's under us. Were there any staircases or anything that may lead down into the building more? Hosen? Um... As for staircases, so far you have not detected anything. It will take a while to kind of scout out the building to do so. Um, you have not discovered a way down then. quite yet. Um, I would suggest barricading three of the entrances with some of the fallen debris or heavy things in this in this chapter house. Though I would caution against touching anything that looks... Um, Mechanicus made because it may set off the spirits. I am going to jump up through the hole in our roof and scout from up there if I can do that. Okay. Um. Uh, before you jump up and before you jump up, uh, sorrow. Um, bro, uh, make another Sinesis test. You once again feel another disturbance. That one's a success. Okay. Um, lights seem th what remains of the lights in this fortress are long but go are long but gone, um, or long and gone. I don't know how to say it. But um, so if it were to be night, it'd be pitch black, I guess. Um, though for a moment, it seems that the lights flash on and then back off. Um. It seems that it seems that whatever did this is not the machine itself, but some kind of psychic force emanating through the chapter house. Though this one, instead of being a, I guess like blanket kind of feel, like more subtle but everywhere kind of feel, this um, while the lights flash, you felt a surge in a certain location, and it is deep within the chapter house. Was I? Am I able to kind of pinpoint, or not pinpoint, but am, am I able to get a better sense now of wherever, the loca of wherever that location is? If I'm walking through the house, would I be able to tell, like, what room it came from if I happen to walk by it or something? 
Yes, you would be able to tell okay. what room this particular one came from. And I will tell you right now that the surge is not on the surface area. Here it is uh, underneath. Market, or, uh, Marcus, it seems I've had another sign of science flash. <clears throat> and this time it is... It, this time it was like a beacon. Uh, it flashed from the relic if I had to take a get deep underground. I do now have a better sense of its location, though, by following its psychic trail. Very well, brother. Uh, we should finish up. We should begin and complete uh, boarding up all, or uh, establishing uh, all uh, the entrances into this building and block them off uh, before we head down into the lower depths of the chapter house and also await our brother Cassilis's return. Was the chapter house pretty tall when I'm up on it? Like um, it does, it is fairly tall, though the roof of it does not break through the trees, so you still can't really see the sky from it. I mean, you could climb up into the trees and then you'd be fine there. But it's pretty pretty thick. That's good. I was just checking to see if I could get up above the tree line and see anything. But uh, since it's covered, that means we're actually should be fairly secure. Because even if they saw our drop pods, they won't know where they've hit. Foot to a tree line. We get an area. Okay. So I guess I'll jump back down and help uh, Marcus and Shadris. All right. So you start grabbing whatever you can and barricade the sides and the doors. Right, just three of the four. We need to leave one open. Which one will you leave open? Um, which one has the... Is the one to the left the one with the smallest entrance and, uh, like, hallway connected to it? Is it fairly small? All the entrances are equal in size. Yeah, that's right, because it's a T-shape. Pretty okay, much, Okay, so, yeah. um, I guess we'll leave the southern entrance open. Because, yeah, we'll just leave southern entrance open. Okay. Alright, so over the next minutes or whatnot, you spend the time barricading um, the north, west, and east entrances. Um, Castles. So, you have the location of where they are going, um, or where they are in the chapter house. They send it to you. And over the Vox, you've heard their conversations. Uh, what course of action will you be taking? <laughs> Just what I told you. I'm going to move as quickly and as silently as I can, using aspects to see enemies before they see me, and just get to where they are. That's it. Okay. Um, okay, so you travel for a little bit. Um, cover probably about... I'd say 250 meters or so. And um, roll a uh, awareness hearing. Success by three degrees. All right. Um, over the, uh, I'd say about, um, I'd say probably uh, about 100, uh, 75 to 100 meters northwest of you, you can hear a conflict. Uh, since your hearing was so good, um, you're able to tell what kind of weapons are being used. Um, you can hear, uh, you can hear what re what would resemble tyrannids. Uh, you can hear their roaring, their screeching, um, mainly those of uh, hormigant-sized tyrannids and termagants. And um, in response to this, you can hear um, tau pulse weapons being fired. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Anything showing up in the aspects? I'm gonna roll for that. Um, you're not quite close enough if uh, to see it since it's like I guess you know 75, 100, a little bit out of range. Um, if you want to, uh, you can move up silently on the engagement, or just move silently past no. it, or whatever you want. No, I'm gonna ignore it and just get to the chapter house. Okay. Um, roll a uh, move silent as you try to get around this engagement. Any bonuses move. from the uh, large amounts of noise and stuff? Uh, 
hearing wise, yeah, and they'd probably be distracted in what they're doing. Um, I'd probably put like a plus ten bonus on it, and then if you had your stummer on, there you go. I'm gonna put my stummer on as soon as yeah. If I'm able to get any visuals on them, you said I just heard them, so right. So yeah, if I'm not able to see, I'm just gonna move silent and just get the plus ten. Very success. Okay, so you're able to sneak Six by. Degrees. Uh, five degrees. Okay, so you're able to sneak by for the most part. Um, roll an awareness as you go past this group. What kind? Um, sight. Motion sensor active at all or no? Um, no. It's not moving. Yeah. Okay. Um, you get the eerie feeling that something is observing you. As you move past this conflict. Okay, I'm gonna scan for infrared. Three degrees of success. All right, so you okay? So you scan for infrared. Okay, so thirty. Okay, um, you make out. Um, it's a little bit hidden from you because you kind of matched him up pretty, pretty much. Um, but you can somewhat make out what appears to be a Tau stealth suit that is behind the Tyranid forces. And it's just kind of like chilling off kind of a kind of next to a tree, probably about uh forty, forty five meters away from you to the north. Directly blocking your path. According to my cartograph, is there a an, an separate entrance I can go through that is like completely the other way around, ignoring him? You could. This would decrease your travel, or this would increase your travel time. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. All right. Um, move and I'm gonna switch on my stummer. All right, move silent to get away from him. Let's see, fifty. Four degrees of success. Alright, you're able to move away from him. He doesn't notice you. Um, as you're moving away, you can hear his... Um, what does he have? You can hear his... I believe it's a burst cannon. You can hear his burst cannon firing. <laughs> Though the uh, fire is obviously not pointed at you. Most likely at the backs of the Tyranid. Okay, keep traveling. Until I'm well out of uh, visual, then I'm going to switch off my stummer. Okay. Um, Alright, so you travel, so that's about 250 meters. Um, the little diversion has costed you some time, though. So, um, I'll say you've gone, you've gone up to this point, it's been about, it's you've traveled about, I'd say like 500 meters or so. So you can stop like another thousand meters to go to get to this place. Um, and as you reach this 500 meter mark, uh, roll another awareness test. Everyone? You. You. Oh, pass. No. Mal's character. Not everyone. <laughs> oh, thought I heard everyone. I was like, yeah, that's what you said, dude. No, I said, you said everyone, and I said you. <laughs> yeah, said, okay, yeah. well, you said everyone Whatever. first, I thought. Right, I'm doesn't matter. Anyways, I rolled. I'm recording this. We'll go back and look later. Doesn't matter. Um, like, four degrees, five degrees of success? Depending on, like, what you want it to be. Um, this will be sight. So just... Okay, motion detection at all, or is this, like, far off stuff? Uh, motion detection. Uh, relatively uh, close to you, 50 meters about. 
five degrees of success then. Okay. Um. Okay. So on your travels, uh, in front of you is yet another blockade, which seems to be a small squad of pathfinders that are scouting the area. What's a pathfinder? A pathfinder is similar to a Tau fire warrior, but he's more of a scout version rather than a you know full assault kind of guy like the fire warrior kind of more is. So, but they they look pretty similar to what a fire warrior is. Uh, I believe they're uh, the armor is not as good, the weapons are not as good, but they're they're scouting teams basically. Um, accompanying. I'm gonna vox out. But there's there are towels surrounding this place, along with Tyranid swarms. I will be stealthily but slowly making my way in. It's probably best if you go on without me. Do you require any aid or assistance? No, just go on without me. I will do my best to escape their watch. How far are you away, brother? Still another kilometer just to reach the fortress, not even getting entrance. Very well, brother. If fire erupts, let us know and we shall come to your aid. I'm cutting off radio. Uh, I'm going to break. I'm going to keep radio silence for now. Vox silence. Okay. Um, so I guess for right now I'm gonna go and hunker down towards like the nearest cover I can and turn on my stammer to get there and just hide. Okay. Um. So move a uh, move a roll silent. That is a fail. Okay. Can I have a concealment since we're in dense jungle? Um well um as you well I mean as you try to go to hunker down or go to your location, one of them becomes alert to you. It is fairly dark. He doesn't know your exact location, but he has given off signs that he knows you're in the area, and he's alerted the other Pathfinders as well. They start to spread out and kind of comb around. Basically, they hear your <laughs> How are they all grouped together? Are they spread out, or are they all kind of in one big bulk of the unit? Nope, they are spread out. This is this is not a horde. There are four individual units of them. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna try to conceal myself. Okay, so you drop in your spot and just try to conceal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll your concealment. Perception thirty. That is. Uh, do I get any bonuses from the jungle terrain, or? Um, I'd say. I'd say plus ten. I mean, I don't know. How so it's well. not that thick at all. It's like just brush. It's thick, but it'd be more like line of sight kind of stuff. And I mean, they have they have like tracking tools and stuff, really. And I mean, it's not well. You know, the old Space Marine kind of sticks out a little bit in a forest of all green, wearing all black. But, um, like I said, I, I'd say I'd say still it'd be like a plus ten on your concealment. It's, uh, I mean, I, it's night, so I guess I don't get anything from that either. Or plus, uh, plus twenty, plus twenty on it. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to that, and then uh, from my infrared scan, I can tell the ambient temperature of the jungle, right? Uh, yeah, I think it. Yeah, I should be able to. If I were to modulate the controls of my uh, power armor, 
could I somehow, if I were to shut it off completely or do a dormant power state, could I match the ambient temperature of the planet, of the surrounding jungle? Um, yeah, I mean... I don't know how hot it is, I'm just trying to... I mean, uh, do you have, like, are you are you saying, like, you want suspended animation or something? Or are you just trying to... Yeah, I mean, if that's what it takes, I mean, if that's what it takes to match the uh, the temperature. Okay. Um, well, you don't... Let's see. I don't think you have suspended animation because of your Black Templar stuff, but... True. You can, I guess, take the time to, I guess, essentially power off your suit, and that would drop your heat rating signatures. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll make my concealment roll. All right, so I'll give you, uh, since you're completely matching it, plus 30 on concealment. Man, if he gets So down, that will be a uh, five degrees of success. Okay. Five degrees, I'm looking at 30, 50 on it. Four degrees, okay. All right, so five degrees of success. The Pathfinders search the area and are unable to locate you. Um, they deem that there is nothing in the area and continue to move on. You take some time to power back up your suit, and you're good to go. Okay. I mean, I assume, like, a lot of time has passed because of this, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you um, guys doing anything? Or? There's, well, I mean, if you, I don't know if you were, if you want to ambush or anything, but I mean, you know, as they scan, as they scan the area, some of them do get pretty close to you and stuff. I mean, they almost walk right on top of you, <laughs> pretty much. So I mean, if you ever wanted, if you wanted, if you're aiming for some kind of surprise attack out of it, there you go. But you can you can take an opportunity to surprise them. But I'm gonna pass it up. I mean, I'm I'm my character's goal is just to get out of this without like drawing more heat down on himself. Right. No pun intended. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. All right, so power up and continue marching on. Yeah, I mean, if that's, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try to meet back up with them as soon as I can. All right. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start up a new video here, so I'll just end it and start it up again.